Hello guys, so I finally reached Canada and I've reached through an indirect route which is through Maldives. So my route was India to Maldives to Doha to Quebec to Toronto, right? Quite a long route, but uh, it was it was really safe. It was very uh, smooth, no problems at all in the immigration, and I booked my entire travel through. Uh, hummingbird travel agency it is situated in uh, Ahmedabad Gujarat right and Mr. Uh, Dhruval he was the person I was in touch with uh, throughout the journey right and I'll share his contact details as well the total uh, cost of my trip was 1,55,000 right which included all the tickets and uh, one night stay at the Maldives which was super amazing and breakfast, lunch and dinner at Maldives, RT-PCR test and uh, yeah, all the tickets and transport to the resort and everything, right? So everything was included, just uh, one bag was not included, which I have added. If you wish, you can add one more bag, right? So apart from that, everything was included. Mr. Dhruval, he was uh, really very helpful and he was in touch with us throughout the journey. So it was a very, very great experience. So my first flight was from Ahmedabad to uh, Mumbai and Mumbai to Malay which is Air Indigo. Uh, I, I reached the Ahmedabad airport and I handed over my bags. Uh, no, not much questions were asked over here, just my ticket from, uh, from Mumbai to uh, Maldives and return tickets from Maldives to Mumbai. Yes, this is the requirement of Indigo airline to travel to Maldives. You should have a return ticket. So our travel agent. Uh, he himself arranged all the written tickets and everything. So we just showed those documents. We submitted our bags as I purchased one extra bag because from uh, Ahmedabad to Maldives, we just had one bag of 20 kg plus check-in bags and sorry, plus cabin bags and laptop bag that was separate. But uh, the big bag was just one 20 kg. So I purchased one more 20 k uh, 23 kg bag and it costed me somewhere around 12,000 or so. So just I submitted the bags and then further process was very simple and I boarded the flight. I reached Mumbai. Now the game begins at Mumbai airport because we had the immigration from Mumbai. So immigration officers asked us question about why you're traveling to uh, Maldives in such COVID situation. Uh, so we just said that we are all friends and college friends and we, are, we all have planned this trip just because our breaks are going on and we just wanted to relax and chill so we are going so that's what our agent said and we had a return ticket from Maldives to India back so we showed that we had three day hotel booking as well in Maldives that document also we showed and more or less immigration people know that we are traveling to Canada because they can see uh, the Canada st uh, study permit so they uh, like they'll try to ask you a cross question that you're traveling to Canada or something so it's your wish you can say that yeah we are traveling or you can just say that no we are just going for a vacation uh, I said I'm going for vacation and most of the people from my group said that but one of uh, one of the girl from our groups she uh, clearly said that yes I'm going for uh, like going to travel to Canada and she was also allowed to uh, take the plane right so uh, Bombay immigration clear from there we took the plane and we landed in Maldives around one o'clock local time Maldives right in Maldives there were no questions asked when we uh, landed simply they asked for our three-day hotel booking and our return ticket to Canada they just uh, see these two documents and they allowed us uh, and they uh, given us permission to enter the city now our travel agent again had booked had one person over there representative from the hotel so that person gave us uh, all the instruction that person itself called the laboratory and did uh, rt-pcr for all of us we we were about a group of 25 to 30 people so rt-pcr for everyone was done and by by around 5 pm in the evening we got free and then the fun part begins uh, a speed boat was ready for us outside the airport so we took around one hour and 15 minute uh, speed boat ride to our resort mm -hmm. 
and the thought was simply amazing all your stress worries about going to canada will will vanish if you visit through maldives trust me right so i'll share few pictures as well over here so we reached hotel at around uh, 6 pm and we started exploring the hotel and uh, uh, our our dinner breakfast for next day and lunch for next day was included in the package so we just relaxed enjoyed a uh, room around and uh, you know we had some good time over there next day our resort people only gave us the rt pcr report make sure in maldives you take two or three copies of rt pcr because one copy they'll take at the airport only so for further at doha and for canada you need more copies right so at least keep two copies with you and if you're traveling uh, traveling through qatar airways make sure you have you should have a filled uh, declaration from uh, form from qatar airways right so we have to you have to give that form at the airport so make sure you keep it ready right also when you are in maldives don't forget to fill the arrive can form because uh, we have to fill it 24 hours before we enter the canada or you can fill it, fill it at the doha airport as well but uh, keep that in mind you have to fill that also when we and uh, when we enter uh, maldives we have to fill uh, one uh, same like arrive can they have their own portal which is immuga i'll share the link uh, below in the description so both when you are arriving to maldives and when you are departing from maldives you have to fill that form so before you take your flight from bombay or wherever you are from fill that form and when you will be leaving maldives for doha or for canada or whatsoever again you have to fill that uh, form right so i'll share the link it's immuga and i'll share the link below in the description so fill that form and fill arrive can form before leaving maldives so keep these things in mind right so uh, this is all about documentation now when uh, again we reached maldive uh, airport to board the flight for doha so there uh, the uh, question and answer session was quite long at least quite long for me uh, they asked me all my college documents my college offer letter enrollment letter port of entry then they also uh, told me to open my portal of college and they uh so my academic calendar they saw my, uh, they saw my grades for all the subjects and uh, they they saw a lot of things because they were uh, they were they thought that i'm from september intake and i'm flying early so you have to properly show all your college documents they just verified everything no uh, issues at all but it took a, a, a lot of time compared to bombay or any other immigration so they checked all the documents it was all clear i had all the printouts so make sure all college documents you keep uh, ready with you right also they saw the covid uh, vaccine certificate the uh, rt pcr test from maldives one uh, copy they have kept for their reference so make sure you keep extra and then yes immigration part and all it was very smooth just they asked me where you are going i said i'm going to canada via doha so they simply cleared my immigration and i just uh, took my flight to doha now when we reached doha again normal security check up and we were at the airport 10 hours we had we had layover at the airport so we stayed for 10 hours now at doha airport uh, they have some quiet rooms you have to ask where are the quiet rooms you can go and relax over there if you don't have if you don't want to pay for the lounge and uh, Uh, like if you don't have any lounge access right you can search for the quiet rooms and you can go there mostly they were full so when when we searched for it they were all full so we normally uh, you know took the chairs and we all were sitting over there but you can ask for that and you can find a place over there right so now when i entered canada finally in in quebec they had a uh, you know a lot of machines where we had to enter our self declare declaration form so usually before covid they used to give a print out of this form and we had to fill it in the flight but now they use a rive can app and this uh, self declaration form uh, uh, online when you reach at the airport right so you have to fill that self declaration form what items you are carrying with you and all those normal kind of questions after that you will be going to the immigration department 
now if you uh, make sure of one thing uh, if you are a student normal uh, student you have to go to a different section and if you are a student with a co-op program that means you have internship in your course and you will be needing a work permit you have to go to a different section make sure uh, make sure you ask this question very clearly uh, because I went to they sent me to the section where only student visas were be uh, like were processed and and then it took a lot of time for me to wait over there and then when my turn came I came to know that this is not the correct uh, section for me and then they sent me to, to the another section and all of these process look, took a lot of time and I was about to miss my next flight to Toronto right so make sure of this, uh, this thing so at the immigration if you are just a student like um, without co-op course not much of issue they'll just see your offer letter normal letter and some few college documents and they'll provide you the study permit but if you are uh, a one with the co-op course or the internship course they'll ask a lot of questions almost 30 minutes per person they'll ask you all the details of college portal college portal grades uh, covid certificates your documents fees uh, payment certificates and every single detail they will ask you right so be ready for that so in my passport they uh, they added a blue sticker uh, this is what it looks like right so uh, that means they have uh, given us a home testing kit so after coming back to home I had to take a COVID test myself and then I have to keep the specimen outside my house and they will just come and collect the sample and they'll test uh, my COVID report right so they will be adding one this sticker to your passport make sure you ask them to do this because in my case they forgot and I again had to go and ask them for this sticker right one more thing at the end if you are carrying any Indian uh, gods statue or idol with you right any of the Indian god so at Maldives airport they will tell you to remove that idol and keep it at the airport Right. I was carrying a uh, Ganpati Bapa with me right? and they told me to take, take that out and keep it at the airport. They will give you a receipt. You have to keep that re uh, receipt safe and when you go back you have to just show that report and you can take your idol back. But they will not allow you to take the idol to the city because uh, they said that it is an Islamic country and they don't allow uh, any god from any other religion. Right? So make sure if you are carrying one you carry it in your handbag or a cabin bag which is easy to uh, open and easy to uh, you know keep it back because if you keep it in your main bag they'll uh, they'll be opening that as well right so make it make sure it is handy and you can submit it and take it back so uh, this was all the process all my immigration majorly was smooth everywhere they just asked simple questions about uh, about study and more or less if you are on the student visa they'll ask you about uh, study permit college letter and all those stuff so keep all the, all those things ready with you Keep COVID vaccinate, uh, vaccinated certificate ready with you. Link it with your passport. My uh, my COVID certificate didn't have the passport number. It had Aadhaar number and it went really well without any issues. But I have online, I have linked the uh, certificate with my passport. So I didn't have any issues with that. So all in all, all the journey was very smooth. So I would clearly recommend this route for all of you. It's very safe and very relaxing. And I will add one more video on what all activities you can do in Maldives. How was the uh, experience of the resort with more of videos from the resort, right? So if you want to see that, just uh, stay tuned. I'll upload that video very soon. And thank you so much for watching this. Bye-bye. Take care.